Happy New Year. It's cold as you fill in the blank here in Philadelphia. We've had single digits, ice, ice storms, wintery mix, you, you name it. This is brutal. Got my Ball State uh, melon cover up here. Uh, today, we are going to smoke another rare cigar. Limited production, but this is by the crew at Monte Cristo. Can you say Grupo de Maestro? <laughs> so, today's cigar is the Monte Cristo Private Batch Number Two. Uh, this particular cigar, look at that glare, came out in 2016. Uh, they've done another release in 2015. Uh, it's to commemorate 250 combined years of uh, the Grupo de Maestros, who are a group of people who put together certain blends for Monte Cristo. Uh, the Grupo de Maestros combined for 250 years of cigar making. Uh, they have sold 250 boxes of 100 of these. And this one, I think the 142 means it comes from box 142. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, don't find a lot of tasting notes for this joker out there uh, because I think a lot of people are doing the Bitcoin move and holding them, you know, but we're not going to hold ours today because as I told you before, my new theory is find a reason to smoke your good stuff because you might not live that long if you try to collect everything. Somebody else is smoking for you. So here we go. I've got my crust, uh, trusty Cuban scar cutter. See that hole in the back that allows you to put torpedoes and things back in there? Nice straight cut. Perfect every time. Look at the nice cap on that. Took off a good good, good amount, not too much. Uh, and we're going to set the torch to this guy. Who knows how to match I think my match is in my pocket. We'll come right back. Uh, don't mind the damaged foot. I've had this cigar since 2016. It's 2018. You would be damaged too if you banged around in a humidor. So, what do we have here? Let's take a look at this baby. As I said, nice cat. There's the label, Private Batch 2, 142 out of 250. I'm guessing that's the box number. Um, what we have here is an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper from a 2013 harvest. That must be a good finish. We have a binder from Nicaragua, a 2012 harvest. Another good year, I guess. The filler is Dominican Piloto from 2009. And, uh, oh, and this also says that Nicaraguan filler as well uh, from 2011. I got to get that cleaned up because it shouldn't be like that. Anywho, the Grupo de Maestros are the same guys that put together... Romeo and Julieta, Monte Cristo Epic, Henry Killet, Stalk Cut, and a couple of other cigars. This is Monte Cristo's 18 for uh, cigars. So, not many notes on what the flavor profile is going to be. So, we're going to figure this out together. It only comes in one size, a 6x50 Toro. 
and these cigars retail when they came out for about 15 bucks. Let me get you back to the video again. You'll see that damaged foot. Uh, what can I tell you, man? It's, it's, it's stuff happens. All right, let's let's get beyond that. Looks like a good cigar. I've kept it uh, very uh, fairly humidified in the um, collectible box. And here we go. Right off the bat, I'm getting some spice, cooking spice, not heat spice, although there's a little tinge of that too. I'm getting like cherry pit. Like if you were to take cherry pits and burn them, like I'm getting lots of hints of cherry, cool, right out of the gate. Um, good draw. Hmm. Let me keep going. Let me let some of this stuff develop. Good balance so far, too. So, Monte Cristo. You've seen me do a couple other videos before. Did the Monte by Monte Cristo and the Monte Cristo Platinum Edition. This is, I think, uh, in the past 12 months, the third Monte Cristo that's not Cuban that I've enjoyed. Um, I've also smoked the Cuban Monte Cristo Open Eagle, and of course, once a year, I try to get my hand on a Monte Cristo number two. You're, you're paying for the name first and foremost. You just got to understand that. And believe it or not, I don't find too many Monte Cristo fans in my travels. I just don't. And it could be because the price point for what the cigars deliver isn't necessarily that good. I've find the cigars to be good, but not $15, $12, or $18 good, depending on what the cigar is. Even the Open Eagle, not impressed for a cigar that's going to set you back between $20 bucks. $25. My favorite Monte Cristo is the Monte Cristo number no. 2, made in Havana, Cuba. So, um, I'm giving this guy a shot. I also have a Monte Cristo and Añejo. Uh, uh, in my uh, uh, box that I'll I'll get around to eventually, um, but I just wanted to give this guy a, a, a try today. Leather, get some leather, get some wood. Still some of that sweetness and that aroma from the cherry. Good smoke, but won't not nostril burning, and I'm sure uh, some of that heat is a result of some of that uh, Nicaraguan uh, tobacco that's in the binder. Uh, but you should expect sweet from the Ecuadorian Sumatra. Hmm. Anyway, good stuff. Not much online in terms of tasting notes. And one of the things I, 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 I try to do is I try to find tasting notes, write them down, tell you what uh, the you know producer or other reviewers say, and then see if I pick up the same notes. Because I tell you, in most cases, you look at any two uh, reviewers' notes, they're going to get something different. Right? That's everybody's palate is different. As the tobaccos begin to heat up, new flavors begin to develop, it's getting a little salty to me. Um, starting to salivate. But not overly, not too much, so that's not a bad deal too. This is again, is a cigar that I've been holding on to in the box for, man, it's, it's, it's well all over 20 months, easily. Uh, and I, I mean, listen, first and foremost, I'm proud that I can hold on to a daggone cigar that long, to be honest. I don't buy boxes of cigars. If you're new, I don't buy boxes of cigars. I buy one or two 
I have a variety of sticks in my box. I have multiple humidors for different purposes. One of the humidors is where I put my Cuban and collectible stuff. And the other humidor is my everyday thing. I get in there and I, you know, I'm in that box nearly every day. Uh, I took this out because I plan on smoking it this summer when I travel to Indianapolis and out there for a month. Didn't have my, uh, well, I did have one of my humidors there. And listen, you get jostled around while you're traveling and, and stuff happening. And that's how you damage your cigars. It was in pretty good shape while I left it in the box uh, unattended. Another note, I'm telling some people, if you have Cuban cigars, my advice is either buy a completely separate humidor for those or put them in a plastic bag with one of those humidification packets and seal it and leave it separate. Uh, every cigar shop uh, expert I know has warned me on the lack of quality of cigars manufactured in Cuba when it comes to bugs and beetles. So you have a, a good chance of ruining your stock if you get a bad batch. So just just a, a, a word to the wise. Definitely some of that Nicaraguan pepper, even though it's uh, only in the binder or the filler, depending on what I read. I, my note says binder Nicaragua 2012 and filler Nicaragua 2011 and Dominican Piloto filler. So I screwed up somewhere there. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, when I do the write up, though, you can see the amended notes. This is live. This is what you get when you do YouTube. You get live and you get whatever you get. I'm sorry. Whew. I will tell you, the full body people will love this stick because it's, it's bringing some noise. And I just got done sitting down to a gigantic plate of barbecue. Uh, had myself some brisket and some baby back ribs and some barbecue chicken and some french fries and some fried okra, okra and two things of iced tea. And uh, I'm glad I did because uh, this is this is bringing bringing some noise. Would I pay $15 again for this stick? Yeah, I'd get one of these every time they uh, released it. This is this is a $15 cigar. I don't say that about a lot of the other cigars I get from Monte Cristo, so you know you're getting a real honest opinion here. But uh, this this is this is this is potent. Uh, these guys weren't messing around when they put this baby together. cherry is gone you're getting heat and some more heat uh, leather some wood uh, the wisps of cherry have kind of faded to the background I shouldn't say they're gone but it's kind of uh, it, it's kind of climbed over to the back seat uh, behind the driver where it can't see you can't even kip it it's just it's just back there this is giving me uh, robust leather flavor. Uh, I would say coffee, not cocoa. Leather wood, it's spice, spice, spice. And that little wisp of that cherry, you know, I, I, I know uh, and seen on TV where there is a chef that uh, takes cherry pits that he gets after he eats cherries. He washes them off and burns them as wood and uses them to smoke some food. food. I mean, genius. And that's what this kind of reminds me of. If we would take a bunch of cherry pits and throw them in a the fire, uh, I wonder if that counts as cherry wood. What, what's a pit? It's cherry seed, right? I, I don't know. But it's pretty interesting. But you get that kind of hard wood cherry uh, uh, um, undertone tone I would say
oh yeah, I could do this once a year. Uh, I haven't seen where they produced this in 2017. I guess it would have to be two, the, the, the number of the cigar would have to be what, 250 something. I think it's around nine or 10 guys that make up the group of the maestros and as they get older, you know, that number raises, but when they're really old, as they die, that number got to go down. So it's gonna to be tough to do that every single year, but but this is something they put together real well. Um, I picked this cigar up at B&B Cigars, uh, way up in Germantown, uh, section of Philadelphia. Uh, a really nice cigar shop, has a good number of boutique blends. They carry Caldwell, they carry La Barba. Um, they have a very, very nice selection of cigars. Uh, they used to have a wine bar in the back. I think they turned it into a coffee bar. Good stuff, good stuff. Wow. So, when you go out, to a guy or a company or to a shop that carries Monte Cristo, this is one I would ask for. Yo, big fella, do you ever get any of the private batches? The group of the maestros. This is the private batch too, as I said. Uh, but uh, this is something that's well worth it. I'm going to go and gnaw on this a little bit more, something I rarely do. I'll come back to you in about 10, 15 minutes tell you what I think. I don't do that often because most people have made up their mind about a cigar when you're that far in, but since I have some time to kill, I'm going to go ahead and gnaw this, and I will get back to you. And with the magic of television. So we're back. Uh, this thing is loaded with flavor. It's uh, what I thought was coffee to me has now turned into cocoa. Um, that cherry whisk was there. Uh, will burn your throat just about. I mean this thing really, really brings the heat. I'm beginning to think that there is Nicaraguan in the filler and not just in the binder. Um, these aged tobaccos where they give you the vintage they must have given them to us for a reason even though the different flavors that I noted are, are kind of the same some leather some wood I think also in addition to that cherry some salty nuts it's still very complex like beyond just those handful of descriptors and power good God Almighty, this thing, uh, when that tobacco heated up and give you that heat, like it is throat burning heat. I'm afraid to swallow with this joker. But always that cherry. Like that cherry is just really cool uh, in this cigar. So, if you don't like Monte Cristo cigars. I guarantee you this will change your opinion of it. It's really good. I'm moving the band up and down. Uh, it's it's probably besides the Monte Cristo number two, the Cuban. This is probably the most full body, full flavor Monte Cristo uh, I've had and since forever. I used to grab the regular Monte Cristo number twos way way back in the day. I haven't done one of those in a while. I think it's time to do that. I know that's gonna be like another $15, $16 stick. But uh, after having this, it's worth it to me to go and, and, and pluck one of those things up and see what's going on. Uh, but the small uh, uh, private batch number two by the group of the maestros, this is something that you uh, would enjoy treating yourself to, especially, especially if you're the uh, you got to have Nicaraguan he, 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 he person. So, wow. I'm going to take my time and enjoy this guy. I hope you've enjoyed the video too. If you did, please press like. 
uh, and subscribe to my channel so I know you're out there. Uh, also, give me some suggestions on what you would like to see me smoke for 2017 and soon one of these days. I'm going to put together my list, maybe tomorrow. I'll put together my list of my favorite cigars from 2016. Not the best, but my favorite, and I'll even tell you why too. This is the big fella, Charles Kelly, saying thanks for watching. Peace and a bucket of